Welcome back to Dr. Pronghorn's Make-Along Vlog. I'm going to do another pair of Birkenstocks today, actually two pairs. And the uh, special thing about these is that the gentleman who asked me to resole them has a condition where he needs to have lifts on uh, one side. So the uh, right shoes have to be about three-eighths of an inch uh, taller than the left shoes. And uh, what you can see here is I'm taking off the old... Uh, soles with the lift is that the previous cobbler had just actually glued the lift directly onto the original Birkenstock sole and then glued another Birkenstock sole on top of that. And uh, you know, they're really good shoes. He'd uh, worn through them all and needed to have new soles added. And so what I did was I went ahead and um, got all the way down to the original sandal base and then put the lifts directly on the sandal base so here you can see that i'm doing the two rights together so that i can make sure i get the lifts on the correct ones and then i'm doing the two lefts together to make sure i don't accidentally put the lifts on them and just go directly onto the sole material so i heat everything up before i put it together and then i hammer it because when you heat up the rubber either for the lift material or the sole material it actually makes it more uh, uh, supple and uh, able to better adhere to the sole, to the base of the uh, cork footbed, and so that's what I'm doing here. A lot of high-speed hammering for the folks who are fans of that. Then we got the footbeds directly to the sole on the other shoes. Now I've got to go from the lifts to the sole. Here, that's getting put together. And so there's two layers on those right shoes and one layer on the left shoes. And then you hit it because you have to get that uh, contact cement to really activate. I didn't show much of the removing of the original sole. I showed that in several other videos, so you can watch that if you want to. Then you trim it up. Uh, it turns out it's really good to have that box cutter extra sharp, so I'll often sharpen it even though it comes from the factory pretty sharp. So I've got them all rough cut here, you can see, and so I have to take it to the belt sander and then use the belt sander to even everything up. And it also takes off a little bit of the surface of the cork so I can reseal that cork and get a new surface there. So I'm actually getting pretty good at this process. I've done enough of these now that I can uh, rough sand, or I can actually fi finish sand the soles together in about uh, less than 10 minutes per shoe. So there you see it. And then I put the new latex sealant on the cork. You can see that too. I went ahead and cleaned up the footbeds for them. I didn't show that in this video, but they're all cleaned up and nice and ready to go. Sent back out to them. I can do this for you. It costs $60 now if you want me to do your shoes.